Hey, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is around 1 a.m. here in Dhaka. And I am doing a series of reviews. I think I plan to do three, okay? Uh, physically, I'm doing a little bit better. I have a good news to share with you guys. Uh, that is, I got one of the blood tests. Uh, I think not blood. As it was the test I did. It's for, it takes three days to come. And I was actually a bit worried about this thing. But let me show you. Just before I do the review, uh, culture has yielded no growth of any bacteria at this temperature for 48 hours. So I was scared about the infection, which is not happening, but the small stones are there and the kidney pain is much better. I'm doing good uh, by grace of God with all your prayers. So I'm doing a few reviews for you. I'm going to be doing still plenty more rest to recover fully. So this fragrance right here, I wanted to do like after a few days, but I got a lot of questions. So I'm going to do initial impression for people who want to know about this very high fragrance. And you're wondering what is this is this aventus because the box looks like it definitely can tell this other aventus inspired fragrance so how many more you need uh, <laughs> we'll see so this is basically my knowledge says i haven't seen any other reviews except the toiletarian the king of hidden gems nasser he is my favorite reviewer one of the hidden gem reviewers in fragrance community he does unbelievable work he reviews so many uh, hidden gem fragrances i would say like many people don't even know about many, many reviewers do not touch right so <clears throat> i want to actually do this fragrance tonight instead of that but i'll do that tomorrow okay which is the simiake new edc perfume very excited about this one talking about it but this one addicted intense so it's perfume concentration 120 ml and it's from house of hamidi so as per my information uh, i think this was this is a sub branch or sub brand of arma okay so yeah maybe sterling perfumes you know like that they have many other uh, brands under them so yeah so this one is yes this is sterling perfumes as uh, i was saying sterling fragrance international limited england england by uk so i just got this and i did one full wearing and i tested on the paper and skin both so some of my group members said how's this joy by and i'll let you know i wore it so it's easy for me relatively because this is a clone of the king aventus okay i have uh, the older bottle uh i keep a uh, little bit of juice sometimes just for special occasion and stuff like that so aventus for me is one of the great greatest of all times right and then i also would compare a little bit with its other competition which is the big king cd name okay and there are other fragrances a lot of clones like supremacy not only intense uh Cedar Boise, people say swiss arabian shock tons out there tons okay so mont blanc explorer uh mercedes benz uh, i think was the fragrance mercedes benz select which is here so we're not gonna talk about those but we'll see if this is a redundant uh release or it's a better release worse release compared to its biggest rival city name okay uh so one by one this fragrance price point is around 30 dollars in bangladesh and overseas it's being sold under 50 dollars 50 pounds 50 dollars so it, it can go a little expensive okay not cheap so maybe it's a little bit more expensive the city name sometimes okay here's the presentation i think the box looks very neat <clears throat> sorry about that 120 mil perfume and then this this definitely it's a reminiscent of creed a back is a zamidi they have even quality assurance sticker it's a legit product and then the description of the perfume house of sterling okay and then it says Hamidi. Okay. At the base again, there's other information. So I really like this. This is a robust kind of box. It doesn't feel cheap. Even inside, you know, it's not flimsy. <clears throat> Just a uh, small attention detailing. Got this nice cut here. The bottle stays in there. So the thing is, the overall uh, presentation, I mean, it doesn't feel cheap. You know, some clone houses they make like fragrances which are a little bit, you know, you it feels cheap. Even now, bottle, if you talk about the bottle, is very heavy, very heavy. Uh, glass and metal cap which gives it the quality i mean like if you see this look at the design and it's not really snug fit okay none of those click onto place but it's metal whole thing is very heavy and this one the metal plate it looks good it, the bottle looks for me very nice plain simple black bottle just like sydney okay at the back and the atomizer works nice but it's a bit weird i'll tell you why okay like that right so I'll spray some on me. Yeah, just on my hand. So I'll tell you something interesting about this fragrance. 
I <clears throat> am very impressed by it. Uh, if you need to buy this or not, I'll let you know in the end. Okay, one by one uh, is a good clone of Aventus. Okay, it is. It's one of the more refined ones in recent times I reviewed. Uh, I'm not going to say this is the only one that's better than everything else because it's a brand new one. Okay, the reason being uh, there are many other ones I do respect. I like like CD name is all my favorite, all time favorite. This is the EDP version. They got the special edition, limited edition. They have uh, EDP, Parfum, C EDT. So there are a lot more options out there that for you to explore. As for as per my knowledge, uh, no, not only Intense is one of the best ones refined wise. <clears throat> so this one is one of the more refined ones and one of the top favorite ones. Okay, um, price point wise, if you ask me, the price is fair. If it's under thirty dollars, fifty dollars or fifty pounds is a little bit expensive, but you know if you have to pay more taxes that's because your country has uh you know the import duties so why is it a good clone okay it definitely uh brings that beautiful aventus dna which has that bird a little bit of smoke just not really overly smoky like my batch of aventus the last one was 2017 i think it was a fruity batch it's a very fruity uh like it's more dominant fruity dominant than smoky so what you smell in this on the dry down you'll start getting some smoke and a little bit of darkness but it's not overly smoky like oh wow it's choking me or it's winter only this fragrance screams all year round okay so once you spray the funny thing happens with this is that other fragrance that i have sydenim uh non-alcoholic version i don't know where i kept my bottle i think it was here somewhere near me uh what happened with sydenim uh non-alcoholic version is that this fragrance man my bottle is kind of full of uh dust okay this one it says non-alcoholic or uh zero alcohol version what's uh like uh, special about that one was there was no alcohol in there but it was very much like uh when you spray on yourself that fragrance non-alcoholic version was kind of like weird like a mild when you spray you don't feel like water hits you so the same effect i got from this when i sprayed on me it feels like nothing touched me you know it's like a fluffy kind of like a mist <laughs> but it's not watery that's very weird but then the that's about it that's the weird part apart from that uh, no issue so when i wore this uh, talk about longevity many people want to know one wearing i wore quite a few sprays i was going out and i spray on my shirt heavily i think about eight to ten sprays i went with just to see if it's gonna choke me it didn't do that but it did keep a very decent projection for two hours and nice scent aura and people could smell it around me my friend uh, came up and said i can smell it it was it was this, this is very familiar to me because you know i wear my fragrance like i've been sitting in this dna a lot so this is a very common uh, dna so when people can detect it around you when they are quite like 20 feet away from you you know this one is leaving a central funny thing happens with this people who make a mistake that they will think oh this is weak one hour i smell it next hour is gone no the fragrance this one does the trick the good old trick of um disappearing or playing like a uh, nose fatigue you know you go nose fatigue and you feel like uh, oh man i don't smell it it becomes invisible you cannot smell it but others can like dior sauvage something like that or some of the other fragrances you know i say super kind of uh, property this happens with this so the good news is two hours of projection is pretty solid okay but in the long run if you really compare this with performance of cd name i'll tell you if you just want sheer performance okay this is a good performer overall six seven good hours on me but cd name edp will beat it for performance longevity okay if your only concern is longevity go for cd name just no doubt perfume or edp good to go better deal uh, i think this 150 mil is the same price as this in uk okay so in that way no doubt but then it takes over sedium in one category is that overall smell and blend this is a much more refined sedium only thing comes to my mind you know i'll let me get that fragrance for you uh man i think i have it uh no is it this one yes this one only thing refined than sedium from the sedium line was this one limited edition if you can find this this is the most refined sedium in my humble opinion you can also layer my favorite would be sedium oil Okay, like the pure uh, elk, uh, what do you call uh, perfume oil, intense man uh, perfume oil, no alcohol, similar to this, but the oil is much more 
I would say like the concentrate of course oil is going to be the higher concentration right so keeping it here so this is the quality of the oil and also the limited time release okay the limited time release is definitely more expensive compared to this so in composition and smell they are both like if you give it to a non fraghead or non aventus lover they will say they all smell the same there's no difference okay there is the same with a uh, three dollar perfume oil or a body spray which is inspired by Aventus, they all smell the same to them, right? If you are an expert, you will know there are differences. So for me, my conclusion is this is more refined than Sydney. And this in terms of smell is as refined as you go near Aventus, but not the quality. Difference between this and Aventus is this one has bergamot, citron, green apple, lot of citrus, very zesty a really nice citrus and it's just very creamy okay it's almost a point of edition blanc by chanel but the pineapple is missing which is in aventus when you smell aventus side by side then you'll say no aventus is the king no doubt but when you compare the prices if let's say you wanted to make aventus last long time spray with this i would say something like uh o1 like eccentric o1 or molecule o1 these fragrances they become longer lasting but if you can layer it's it's gonna sound cheap but this is the truth if you layer sedenium oil with aventus this fragrance becomes even more beast mode i wear this in winter but it's a different great fragrance okay aventus is light years ahead but again the price of these you have to sell your kidney right so this one when you are on a budget and you're looking for a very refined alternative to aventus you'll find many i'm not gonna lie like this is the one you need and the city name is trash other ones afnan all those things i talked about are trash no everything is a good alternative if you have one solid one you don't need this if you have this you don't need the others okay if you have aventus you don't need a clone it depends on you i'm a collector i'm a reviewer i will review anything that is similar to aventus because i love this dna so yes there you go differences between uh, aventus and this this versus the rest of the clone so this is not the longest lasting on me but i think this one has decent performance uh, for perfume remember one thing perfume edp edt how they uh, perform okay the edc is the weakest forget what you see edt is the most uh, how to say um projecting of all concentration edp is going to be a little bit less last little bit longer the perfume is going to be by right the most refined and i'm not going to project as much but for this this one projects for two hours so that is great but different people may get different results in different uh, weather conditions so you have to test it okay and then you see okay but if you cannot resist you gotta get it if you ask me is a good buy yes okay let me just clear confusion i'm not gonna keep you in middle hanging it's a great fragrance okay if money is not an issue you're a collector and you don't mind having quite a few similar fragrances then no problem but this is better than mont blanc explorer by far if you compare that with this that one is so weak this is a very nice, sweet, uh, fresh and mild. Uh, that birch note is there, but it's not dirty. Okay, masculine. Ah, very lovely, very lovely. I mean, I just love that bergamot and green apple note. It's very, very summer friendly. Okay, so check it out. Um, addicted Hamidi perfume. Is this better than Sidney in terms of smell? Yes. Performance? No. Uh, overall, which one do I pick? If my choice is smell, I would rather layer it with Aventus. Okay, if I have to layer with Aventus, this would be my pick, not CD name. This smells a little bit synthetic up top. Okay, that's the difference. But overall, CD name is still a very solid fragrance. Overall, my initial impression on this one, I would say I had of CD name. I'll give it 9 out of 10. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Time for one more video, then we'll upload it. Take care.